Today I want to talk about why you should not use cotton bud or Q-tip to clean your ears. And I will demonstrate why this is a problem using this model, this simple model. You can see that the ear canal starts from here and finishes at the eardrum, which is here. Wax is produced in the outer third of the ear canal only. And when you take a cotton bud, you actually push the wax all the way into the canal to the drum and this causes uh, impacted wax. You may now ask, how should you clean your ear? You should not clean your ears because it has a natural mechanism involving migratory epithelial that brings the material out of your ears and then it comes out on the outside, which you can then clean from here. You should never put anything inside. You may also ask if you get water in your ear, how you should get rid of it. Some people use roll-up tissue, this is actually wrong. You should get a hair dryer, put it on heat and hold it from the side and that will dry out the water. You may want to know what's the function of the cotton bud if it's not for the ears. I suggest that you use it to clean your belly button. Uh, you may also want to use it for cosmetic reason. A lot of women use this uh, cotton bud to put makeup on. Or in the barber shop in the Middle East, they put it, um, they remove the hair from the nose using wax on a cotton bud. You should not use this in your ears. That's the take home message. It is dangerous and it causes uh, impaction. It acts as a ram rod. There are also uh, some situations where uh, this occurs uh, naturally. For example, um, if you use the air, air inserts from the phone, you actually push the wax in like a cotton bud and this is not good. Um, it can also be an occupational hazard for doctors who use the stethoscope. That act as a uh, ramrod again, and they need to see the doctor, uh, ENT doctor, at least once every six months. I suggest that if you're worried about your ears and worried about wax, do not use cotton bud. Come and see the doctor, and he will remove the wax or any material in your ears ear, using microsuction, which is what I recommend. My name is Dr. Ricardo Passat and I'm an ENT consultant at NMC Royal Hospital in Sharjah. Thank you very much for listening.